Hello friends, having made a bootable USB flash drive, are you disappointed that it doesn't start from the BIOS when you turn on the computer? There may be several reasons for this, including UEFI settings and BIOS security. Let's figure it out. You are on the PC and P channel. A bootable USB flash drive may not start for several reasons. Firstly, it must be correctly recorded. If you simply write an ISO image of Windows or a low-level program like Acronis to a USB flash drive, which is made to work with a hard drive when PC is started, then you should use a special program, such as Ultra ISO or others. I think it's clear that you need not only copy files to a USB flash drive, but to record the image. If you don't know how to do this, we have video about this. Look for it at description. But what if you are not new one? You recorded the image on a USB flash drive, but it still doesn't boot from the BIOS. The second reason for this is BIOS settings. Once again, pay attention to the boot order in the BIOS boot section. The flash drive should be in the first place. Let me remind you how to enter the BIOS. As soon as the computer turns on, you need to quickly press and it's better to press it many times and often until the BIOS setup starts one of the following buttons F2, Escape, Delete or maybe other functional keys depending on the manufacturer. In the BIOS everything is simple. Using the arrows or F keys you can navigate through the menu and move items. Usually F5 or F6 are used to move devices in the boot menu. To save everything, press F10 and enter for apply. Also, in many BIOS there is a separate menu for choosing the device from which to boot. You can get into it by pressing F12 or one of the other F keys when you start the computer. If you checked all this and know how to boot from a USB flash drive, check one more BIOS setting – UEFI. UEFI Unified Extensible Firmware Interface is essentially a replacement for an old BIOS and after 2010 this interface began to appear on all computers. UEFI is very different from the BIOS in both the boot procedure itself and the interaction with the operating system. And it sometimes happens that instead of loading a shell like a grub for dos or sys Linux shell, it loads the operating system, ignoring the USB flash drive. To fix this, we find the UEFI item in the BIOS tab. In my case, it is in the Advanced tab, in the header System Configuration, Item Boot Mode. Here this item but editing is closed, and we are looking for how to open it. Go to the Security tab. And there is a secure boot item. Disable the security setting, go back to the UFI, and now you can disable it. This setting may be called differently in different BIOS, but it will include either the abbreviation UFI or legacy or legacy boot, which means compatibility. Look at description of the items in the right column, look for these words there. I also have the word legacy in the description. To select the compatibility mode, select the CSM setting. After disabling the UEFI mode, all bootable USB flash drives load without problems. But after working with the USB flash drive, it will be necessary to return the UEFI mode in the BIOS so that everything works correctly as before. Do not forget. The BIOS and UEFI are different on different motherboards, but you can find what you need with keywords – boot, UEFI, legacy, CSM. Ok, it's all over now. These tips should help you to get started with a bootable flash drive. If you liked, press like, subscribe to the PCNP and see you on the air!